All right, rock stars. Now let's we we gonna talk about this today, okay? And I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, your boy Jesse Smollett. Now I might actually even separate this out of top of the blogs and make it its own top of the blogs extra, cause I just kind of feel like I want this video to be out on its own, and I also feel like um, I'm gonna be talking about this for uh, quite some time because it is a whole lot to fucking unpack here about your boy. Okay, I mean just full of fucking niggatry abounds. <laughs> Okay, so I think the last time that I did Top of the Blogs, or it might have been the second to the last time that I did Top of the Blogs, you know, we talked about Jesse Smollett being attacked in Chicago. Now, this happened to be during the time of the polar vortex when it was, you know, below zero and, and quite a bit below zero in the 20s and 30s and 50s and 60s below zero. Like, my mind can't even fathom what that feels like on the skin to a human being. You know, it seems like you would instantly freeze. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Supposedly, he was attacked during this polar vortex. He had just gotten in from New York to Chicago. He wanted to get a sandwich from Subway. Um, two o'clock in the morning. I guess it was that serious. You know how sometimes you ain't got shit in that refrigerator, baby, but some damn salt and mayonnaise and, you know, bread and, you know, you ain't got nothing to make nothing, a complete meal. You just got little bits of everything. Milk, you know, ain't nigga ain't got no cereal. <laughs> anyway, so he was hungry. So he went out two o'clock in the morning which is his right okay and um got his sandwich and on his way back to his apartment or his hotel he's staying at the Lowe's I believe you know long term while he's filming the show um he was accosted by two men um who yelled out at him some homophobic slurs some racial slurs um supposedly beat him up punched him in the face you know, kicked him in his side and uh, put put a noose around his neck. Now, all this happened in, in less than a minute. <laughs> but, you know, a minute can't be long when you're getting your ass whooped. So, I mean, that, that don't necessarily mean nothing either. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. But I had reported to you guys what had happened. He had gone back to his hotel room. Um, his manager... Ended up calling the police. He did not call the police. He did not speak to security at the hotel. He went straight to his room. His manager called the police. And then, you know, he gave his report to the police then. Um, and right after I gave you guys the story. Now, you just got to first. Let's just say the Smollett family. Okay. That name alone just kind of gives you this extra feeling like, okay, even if the shit don't sound 100% correct, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt because, you know, like everybody said, we all love Journey. We all love Eve, Eve's Bayou. We've seen that family over the years. And um, we like the fact that he had come out and he was, you know, being successful in his own right. And he sings and he's openly gay. He's a good looking kid. And, you know, he looked like he had things going for him on this successful show and okay so all that was playing into my mind where I thought maybe the story sounded a little strange however I was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt because of all of that that I just said okay um <clears throat> and it didn't make any sense for him to make up anything you know like that about himself all right but I was just listening to the story, and I was like, hmm, this sounds like uh, it could have been a hookup that went wrong, okay? Because, you know, let's keep it 100, you guys. Sometimes we got proclivities, and we got certain things that we like that it is not necessarily the norm. It, it might fall into our freakiness factor, okay? So everybody don't know about it. However, there's things that some people, you know, we engage in that we just, the, the, the average person probably doesn't know or do, okay? So then I started thinking to myself, like, you know, maybe, you know, Jesse was out there, you know, when, you know, wanted to get his dick sucked or something in the alley and, 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 and it had been swiped the wrong way and hooked up with some fool and, um, you know, they beat him up. Okay, so that was, and people can get mad at me because people are saying, why? Just because he's gay, do you think that he would be, um, you know, out there? Well, it don't necessarily mean because he's gay, all right? It could have, he could have been straight. 
And still some shit could have went down. But that was where my mind was thinking. That's really where I thought this story was going to go. That we were going to find out that it was a hookup. It went wrong. They tried to rob him. You know, he's a big star. You know, maybe he had then kept it on the DL. You know, no pun intended. But maybe he tried to keep it under the DL that he was Jesse. And then when he got out there in the alley and they saw him and they knew who he was. they You know, they was like, nigga, this is a two for one. We can, get, we can come up, beat his ass and take his shit. You know, and I thought that maybe... Maybe that's where this story was going to go, and it would just be kind of embarrassing for him. Um, but we we were hearing that, no, he was saying that there definitely was not any hookup situation, that what he did was went to get the sandwich and he got jumped, okay, by some um, MAGA country um, shouting homophobes, you know, who don't like black people and, you know, threw in the fact that he was from the empire and all of that. So <clears throat> I was just listening to the story and I just thought that, that was where it was going to end. Um, every day, though, we we were hearing more and more about it and it, it was just falling apart. But we could always fall back on the fact that Jesse never came out and said anything. You couldn't mess up his words because they kept him away from the media, okay? And he said that he maintained that he's been cooperating with the police and he's never changed his story and all of that. So I was leaning on that hope, like, well, maybe he was beat up and, you know, but it didn't, it just, it, it was that little bit in me that was just like, mm, I don't know, Jesse, okay? And every day I was hoping that we, we would find out differently. So... <clears throat> They came out, said that there was a video of these two guys walking down the street. These were persons of interest, okay? And um, <clears throat> after that video came out, it seemed to have given Jesse some sort of... Um, all of a sudden, he was ready to talk, okay? And who, who not better to talk to than Robin Roberts on Good Morning America? Was it Good Morning America? Yeah. So he sat down and he spoke to her. You guys have all seen the video where he's very upset about the fact that nobody believes that he's telling the truth, that these guys, you know, called him Empire F word, okay, the gay slur. Y'all ain't, ca ain't catching me up today. And then they called him Empire nigga and it punched him in the face. And, you know, he said he was tussling with them. And the next thing you know, it all happened real fast. And the next thing you know, he had a new sword. I said, these motherfuckers must be grade A Boy Scout. I mean, how the fuck did you get that news on their neck so quickly? But maybe they might have had it prepared. But he said in his interview with Robin that unequivocally he believed that those were the two people that attacked him and that um you know he was very frustrated with the fact that people didn't believe him you know had he said that they were muslim or black or mexican maybe you know you guys would have believed it you know instead of him saying that he never said that they were white okay but the implication of the fact that he mentioned all these other races you know, made us believe that he meant that the person or persons who had attacked him were white. Or I suppose they could have been Asian. He didn't throw Asian out there. But you know what we're saying. So, um, he had doubled down again on his claims, spoke to Robin Roberts, gave a very compelling interview, you know. And of course, he had also spoken at one of his performances that was scheduled for the very next day after the attack out in California. Um, he did go do that, and he said that he fought back, you know, um, that he is the gay Tupac. Now, I'm sure he said it in jest, but probably today he probably hates that he said those words. But <clears throat> anyway... So we've been hearing about these video, the, the the two guys. We weren't hearing much more about it. Then when he did the video, I mean the interview with Robin Roberts, the very next day we got the two guys on the video, and I would imagine that Jesse's stomach must have been real, real jelloy at that point. All right, because up until now they've just been shadowy figures. Now we got two people in custody. As a matter of fact, the police went to the airport and picked up these gentlemen as they returned from Nigeria in Chicago. Now that will let you know that they already knew who these guys were and they were waiting for their asses to come back. Okay, when they meet you at the damn airport, they already knew that these two guys 
were these Nigerian kids, and they were just waiting for him to come back so that they can talk to them and get the 411 on who dropped Kit Koo. <laughs> okay, shout out to Aretha Franklin. They take him in. I don't know if Jesse had not thought it out that far, okay? Um, but they take these two gentlemen in. They're questioning them. Next thing we know, the next day, they didn't release the guys. There's no charges against these guys, all right? And now we want to talk to Jesse Smollett again. We got some more questions. Now, that right there, I was just like, oh, shit. Now, what then happened with, <laughs> with these two guys that they have released, have not charged because they haven't done anything illegal, Okay, now I'm just like, oh, shit. D don't tell me, Jesse. Please don't tell me that you made this up. Please do not tell me that you made this up. Okay, again, that little teeny, any, any, weeny, any, any, weeny little bit of pee, uh, hope in me was just like, it, something something else is going to come through, and it's going to clear, Jesse. And, um, we, we you know, we're going to go back to life as we knew it. cha Next thing we hear, that Jesse had then hired the young men, okay, the two Africans, um, uh, uh, what is their name? Let me get their names for y'all, hold on. Ola and Abel Osandero, okay, now they are Nigerian, however, they are U.S. citizens, okay, I believe they were even born here, so there's, you know, at least second generation or further, um, you know, Nigerian Americans here, but anyway, Child, they say that they that Jesse had then hired them to attack him. Um, that he paid them thirty five hundred dollars, um, and then after it was done, he he had another five hundred dollars on it. And um, yeah, they, they they said that this was all a part of a scheme that a hoax that he had set up, um, trying to get attention. Well, nobody knew exactly what, what, why he was set it up, but that's what they were telling the police. The police was letting shit leak out slowly, okay? And I guess in the hopes of hoping that Jesse Smollett would finally come in and speak to them. We'll just keep on letting little shit leak out, little shit leak out, because it's going to make him look worser and worser. Shout out to Future, okay? But he would not come in, and... You guys know, we, we've been watching for Scandal for how long, right? How fucking long did we watch? If we didn't learn shit else from Scandal, we knew that you cannot afford to let a story get ahead of you. If it is something negative about you, the best thing to do is try to get ahead of the story. And I don't know what it is that you was going to, you know, get with your crisis manager and try to um, handle this story, but... The fact that Jesse Smollett was not saying anything, it was allowing everybody else to come up with assumptions. It was allowing the evidence that the police was allowing to be leaked to, you know, people were forming their judgment on him based on just what they were saying and not allowing his side at all. OK, and you, you, you can't do things like that. You have to get some measure of control over your story or else you lose your narrative. OK, so that is what was going on with Jesse. The police was just letting it leak out, letting it leak out. And um, every day, Jesse was not saying anything. OK, every now and then his family would put up something, you know, you believe a lie and the lie become the truth and the truth become a lie. Listen. I, I can't be mad at his family. That's his family. They love him. They want to make sure that their boy is okay. You know, they they probably, even if they don't believe him, they know that they have to be there to support him because that family is, they're a very strong, supportive family. So, you know, I, I'm sure that in inside of them somewhere, they feel like, oh, we've got to do something for Jesse. But, child, it just was a mess. All right. So then, because he still wasn't coming in to speak to them, the police was like, well, you know what, fuck it. We about to go to the grand jury. We going to tell them all the evidence that we have. Even though people kept saying, I don't see any evidence that they have. Just because we don't see it, just because the police didn't put everything out for us, 
doesn't mean that they don't have it, okay? People don't realize that they let leak out what they wanted to leak out, and what they held on to is what they wanted to hold on to, okay? But they had their shit in line. They went to the grand jury. They showed them that these guys supposedly was hired by Jesse Smollett, okay, that he paid them $3,500. Get this! With a fucking check! With a goddamn check, y'all! I said, this nigga, he can't be from the street. Now, what kind of green-ass boy gonna go and pay some people some illegalities with a check? A check, you guys. They're saying that he wrote a check. Okay, I guess he was making sure that his books was straight. <laughs> nigga, you gonna get a money order? I mean, damn. All right, if he wanted to make sure that his money was good. I said, oh, Jesse, Jesse, not a check. But evidently, they're saying he paid them $3,500, that he wrote a check, and then they released the video, the surveillance of these two gentlemen in a beauty supply buying ski masks. Remember, he said that they were wearing ski masks, buying a red hat, even though he kind of backtracked on the hat. We heard about this hat, but then he said that they weren't wearing hats, or it wasn't MAGA hats and everything, but in the video, we see them wearing, you know, them also purchasing um, red hats, and I know people are going to say, we don't know when that video was shot. It could have been set up, and all. You know, I really want, I really wanted for Jesse too. I, I wanted him to be not lying. I, I really wanted something to happen. There is still a very small part of me is just like, there's no way he could have lied about this. Like something has to have been there. But then, you know, that's about 2% of me. Okay. 98% of me is like, Jesse, baby, you just got caught up. Okay, well, well, you then went and looked for trouble that you did not need, that you weren't heading for. This is not the kind of trouble that he was going to be in. So it was just like, what, what, what is going on here, Charles? Anyway, they done indicted him yesterday and said, we're going to put him some disorderly conduct, okay, a felony for a charge. Um, it's, it's from probation all the way up to, I've read between one and a half to three years in jail. I don't believe he's going to get any jail time because he, he wasn't, I can't even say that he wasn't being malicious because I don't honestly know what was his end game. Like what was you thinking was going to happen with this? Now it's all kind of other stories coming out. They're saying the police are saying that he was unhappy with his, um, empire salary. And that was the reason why he did this. Now, let me rewind it on back. Before all of this started, he originally was sent a letter um, at the Empire Studios, um, a threatening letter, you know, cut out letters from a magazine that was glued together. And it was like they was going to get Jesse and it was supposed to be, you know, it was a drawing of a, of a stick figure. It was hanging from a noose um, with a gun pointed at it. And um, <clears throat> that was sent to the Empire Studios. I didn't even hear anything about it, okay? And that's where all this started. They said that Jesse was upset about the fact that there was no or not much news coverage about that. Okay, so that happened a week before the uh, supposed alleged attack. <laughs> allegedly, 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 <laughs> like Alex said. Anyway, <clears throat> this was what started it. They're saying that he was upset that he didn't get any attention from that. Now they're saying that he probably was the person who sent himself that letter to the Empire Studios. Okay, and that he was unhappy with his salary. You see, there's so many layers of fool of fucking niggatry to this. Like, it's just so much. But supposedly he was unhappy with his salary, and this is where all this concocted. Now, that is all hearsay. We, we don't know for a fact if that's it until more comes out from this, um, um, this case. But it's plausible, 
okay? And the fact that the FBI is involved in it, you know, it's a federal crime to send this kind of shit in the mail, and you're doing, you know, dumb shit fraudulently, and, you know, so now the FBI, it's just like you didn't brought on all these extra problems in your life that you did not have to do, Jesse. Okay, baby, what happened to sitting down and negotiating the salary? Are you up here fucking around with Child, I can't, I can't, I can't. So, <clears throat> anyway, going back till now. Empire, I don't watch the show. So, I, I don't really know what direction his character was going in in the first place. Like, I don't know if he was getting phased off the show or they were writing down his characters and not getting as much air time. Um, I knew he was always a big, you know, he was a big um, character on the show, so, I mean, I didn't see that happening, but maybe it could be, maybe he was feeling like it was about to happen where he wasn't going to be on the show, I, I just, I, I just, honestly, I don't understand, I, I just don't understand, Jesse, okay, and then for you to ra rally up, the whole images of MAGA and this noose, okay, the, the, the state of our country right now. I mean, I went on and on about how it makes no sense, you know, that that they're attacking black people and gay people, you know, and screaming out MAGA. I mean, and they've just gotten so emboldened, the racist and all. I mean, he didn't got all of us with these feelings, Okay, you got motherfuckers out there ready to, you know, bear arms and fight for you because it just didn't got that ridiculous. I mean, it could have gone way worse. And you fucking around trying to get a couple extra zeros on your damn check. You done got everybody in Chicago, which already has so much going on in Chicago. Okay. Now you didn't got it to the point where these folks was ready to fight for you, and it and it was for nothing. Okay, not only that, now we got to hear these dumbass MAGA people saying, including your stupid ass president, saying all kind of shit about you know, and it ain't nothing we can do but sit there and be like, well, they just you know, we gonna just let them have this one. Okay, oh well, Jesse, ain't nothing we can we can't protect you from this one. All right, because you brought it on yourself. Now they done released the damn uh, uh, mug shot. And, and, and it would break my heart as a mother if I saw my, my child's mug shot just being all over social media. And it was for some fuck shit. So I just, I can't imagine what his, his mother must be going through. And his, and his sister. And I mean, we love Journey. You know? But we, we just can't put it, we just can't put it past people. I mean, the things that people are willing to do for attention i just cannot in my life understand know which or what kind of way why jesse would do that why and i still hope that two percent of me there is a two percent of roxanne that is hoping that some kind of way this boy is vindicated but it's not coming you guys it's not and I know Chicago has issues and, you know, we can't always believe what, what, what Chicago is doing. But I don't see them going through. See, when people compare him, you know, the situation with, um, what, what was the gentleman's name that they were trying to cover up the shooting? The police were in trouble at that time. They tried to cover up that um, shooting M McDonald. They tried to cover up that shooting because that was for their own good. They have no reason to go and try to set up or frame Jesse Smollett. Like I said, he wasn't on anybody's radar. They wasn't like, we're going to set Jesse up today because he's black and he's gay. Okay? I, I don't see them doing that. You know, it's one thing to be trying to cover your ass. And another thing, they are just really determined to get him because he is a known figure. Okay? And, 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 and you know, you try to trick folks and insult people's intelligence. Okay? And had the nerve and the gall. And, you know, you was really feeling like 
I'm telling the truth and and, and, and and want people to believe you. And the, I think the police department was just like, oh, no, 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 uh-uh. no, no, we ain't letting this one go. Oh, no, we definitely not going. And then, you know how when you was <laughs> like as a parent, you be looking at your kid, you know, your, your child, a toddler or something. And they doing some shit over there. They ain't got no damn business doing it. You sitting there the whole time just watching them. They don't know, though. They got their back to you. OK, and they doing some shit and they fixing, messing up shit and doing something and you just sitting there looking like I didn't told this child 15 times do not do that this time I'm just gonna sit there and let them finish it and then when they turn around and see me looking and, they go, and then they turn around and look at you and be all scared and you be like uh-huh that's exactly how the police was with Jesse they knew that he had been lying and they just let the chips fall where they may okay and now we got this I don't think that his his career is going to recover from this. You was upset about your salary and now you probably ain't going to have nothing because Empire is not going to be able to sustain itself under this weight. Okay? They're going to have to cut him or they're going to go under trying to support him. Sponsors ain't going to want to be fucking with them. TV advertising and all of that. If they know that they, they are protecting a liar such as Jesse Smollett. So... I just, shall I, this definitely is going to be on its own because it's very long. But I just, I just cannot for the life of me. Okay. How, how many of you guys actually believe that he's innocent, that he was set up? Okay. I talk to Debbie every day and she still keep on saying that he was set up. All right. Like part of her just don't want to believe it. And none of us do. Like I said, I have had tremendous respect for that family, but uh, you know, you just got to call a spade a spade, and um, you just is just is what it is. And but I will definitely come back if some by some glimmer of hope, okay, if something comes about and and, and we finally get um, Jesse's side, and and and, and you know, it's beyond a shadow of a doubt that, or I wouldn't even not even beyond a shadow of a doubt, but. If it makes more sense that he didn't do this and that he was said, oh, I'll come back and talk to y'all, but right now I just don't see it. I just do not see it. I ain't never heard of a motherfucker doing some shit to their own selves and they ain't had to do it at all. You fucked up your whole career, boy. Oh, y'all parents, we got to sit down and talk to our kids. These kids ain't got no goddamn sense these days. Okay, and I, and I should know it already because when I talk to Joe and Jada sometimes, I'll be like, where the fuck you, who, where, where y'all get that kind of thinking from? I know I, I taught y'all better than this. But see, this is why you have to keep talking to them because they get off. Child, they be on some whole nother. These kids' realities is different than the realities that even we had if you around my age or, you know, if you in your late 30s and up. These kids see life completely different. So, Every now and then, you, <coughs> you got to sit down and talk to them because they will surprise the fuck out of you. You will be like, what? Those stupid ass kids. Child, that Jada, oh, she, th them kids will say some stupid shit and embarrass you. Okay? So, yeah, we got to check in on our youth because this is not okay. This is not okay. Now, do I hate Jesse? Absolutely not. Okay? People make mistakes. Um, This is a big one. But, you know, it, it ain't nothing that's going to make me hate him. But he he caused a lot of havoc. Unnecessarily so. And, um, you know, I don't feel sorry for him. You do things, you, you know, you just got to pay the price. And that's all of us. E even, you know, whatever we do wrong, we got to pay the price for it. But I don't see him recovering on this one. I, and, I mean, if he do, it's going to be a long, long, long time. Okay? Because... We ain't got time for this, y'all. I just, child, I just, I can't even understand it. So I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that with y'all today. He definitely turned himself in. His arraignment is set for one thirty today, um, and I'm sure that's going. To, he's probably not going to talk there. I'm sure he's just gonna sh show his face, and they probably gonna let him go. Um, and and he'll be in pretty much hiding from here on out. But um, yeah, you guys, I just I don't know what to say about your boy. All right. Anyway, you guys, y'all let me know what you think about it, cause I need I got to move on from here. But um, 
put y'all comments down there in, 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 the, in, the, in the comment section below. And let's, let's talk about Jesse Smollett. Just a lion! <laughs>